Well, good morning everybody. David here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcome back to Workbench. As you can see, the kit's done. This is the MPC 75 Corvette Roadster. I did it a little bit of a half stock, half drag racing version as you can see. I used the metal velocity stacks which really set the kit off nicely. I like it. And again, as you can see, I've got the airbrush. This was the first ever real kit that I airbrushed, uh, aside from the Willis truck. But uh, a lot of you liked it, said it turned out really good. So definitely inspiring me to do more. In fact, I am going to be doing some more spray this afternoon and over the weekend. A couple different kits. This kit, pretty much built box stock, um, aside from the metallic blue paint. I did a panel line wash on the stock rally rims. I've always thought that the Chevy rally rims were some of the best looking rally rims out there ever next to the Mopar rally rims. Uh, the interior, I like my white interiors. Um, I did use a little bit of uh, pale blue flocking, which turned out pretty good. The roll bar, I thought about putting it in there, as you can see up here in the kit, but I just didn't like the way it fits, so I just omitted it. Uh, likewise, um, I just kept the uh, headers from the engine. And as you can see, the steering does turn. To the left, turns really good. To the right, not so much. And I think there's something on the right side suspension that I didn't put together well enough. The chassis itself made it perfectly to the fenders and then to the body, no problem whatsoever. Um, I know the engine is a little cockeyed, if you will, because you can see right there, it's not totally centered, but it looked like it when I put the kit together. So, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and quibble over the little things. You know, I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. This is gonna be a nice looking shelf kit. It's actually gonna sit on my table here for a bit as an inspiration, it's my first ever airbrushed kit and I'm going to be working on the airbrush today tomorrow and Sunday I've got a couple other kits on deck bodies are washed ready to go and I've, I've just I've stockpiled a lot of stuff over the past few days and I'm supposed to be getting some stuff from scale finishes today or tomorrow that I'm going to show you as well that are going to help with the airbrushing so I'm excited to show you the stuff I'll get to that in the next video but I just wanted to get this one out because like I, like I said earlier, I was sick pretty much all week, and then my daughter got sick, so I'm kind of making sure she's feeling better, and Lord knows I don't want to get our wife sick, but she's been feeling a little bit groggy too. So, uh, you know, nothing major, just typical cold here in Iowa. Weather gets better or the weather gets colder, I get sick for a few days. It happens, you know, but, you know, thanks to Terry, who's been emailing me periodically going, hey dude, how you doing? Make sure you're doing okay. And I'm like, I'm doing great, Terry. I'm going to shoot you an email as I get this to post. But uh, for everybody else, thanks again for the kind and, and uh, considerate compliments and comments and the feedback. Some of you actually emailed me directly to give me some feedback also on the airbrushing. Thank you. I'm taking it all in and going to use that for my next airbrush and for all my airbrushing afterwards. Am I going to go away from rattle cans? I had some people asking. No, I've got like 30 cans of Tamiya. I will use those still, but I have been watching other people on YouTube where they've decanted Tamiya into bottles and let it gas out and then just airbrush that. So I've got some ideas um, and I'm going to do them. So with that, you know, just kind of get inspired and keep inspiring me. Uh, hopefully what I've done here for somebody who's never airbrushed before, here's your result. If you take your time and do it right, you get it right the first time. And if you don't get it right the first time, you might get it right the second or the third, but eventually you will get it right. As I've said before, buy the best airbrush you can afford, watch a lot of the YouTube instructional videos, and just have at it. But on the same token, just enjoy the hobby for what it is, and keep building the cool kits. With that, I will catch you in the next video.